two of the areas where I see uh, job seekers have trouble with media today. Uh, one would be on the video interviews. Uh, very often, executive recruiters and clients are doing video interviews to speed up the process and really screen candidates prior to a face-to-face -face interview. And interviews, whether they're on video or in person, are interviews. We need to remember uh, to check our equipment uh, prior to the interview. Nothing gets off to a worse start if we're fumbling with equipment, if we don't have the camera right, the volume isn't working. Uh, no one likes to get caught in that situation, so I would encourage everyone to test your equipment prior to a, a Skype interview uh, with a, either a recruiter or a client. Um, test it with a friend, test it with your children, um, and if you can't do that, use the tools on Skype to test yourself so that you can see what is on the camera. Many times we see candidates in environments that are less than desirable. Um, you know, if you have to run back to a hotel room to take the meeting, make sure that the bed is made. If there's exercise equipment in your home office, you wanna make sure that you don't have your workout clothes hanging on the, the post. Um, many times, pets, if you're working at home, try to enter the screen. Please test your environment because it will set the stage you know, for that interview um, with the candidate or recruiter. Many times things go wrong and you're forced to take the interview on the fly and you may have to go out to your car and take the interview on your cell phone on something like FaceTime. What I would encourage you to do is take a look at what the interview is seeing because many times if you balance your cell phone on your dashboard or your steering wheel, you're getting an image that you wouldn't really want the client to think about you, you know, as your best self. So if you're gonna do a video interview, remember it is an interview and try to put your best foot forward. It's really important uh, in landing that face-to-face -face meeting. The second area where I see a lot of missteps right now um, with job seekers is with form letter emails, either to executive recruiters or hiring managers. And we know them when we see them. They start out, Mr so-and-so or dear hiring manager, dear executive recruiter, and the email goes on to say, I accomplished this, I can do this, I am really good at this, I, 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 and at the very bottom, it asks for a face-to-face -face meeting or phone call to tell us more about your accomplishments. If you're going to send an email to an executive recruiter or a hiring manager, Please personalize it, keep it brief, and you know, make it thoughtful. Otherwise, when hiring managers or executive recruiters get these contacts, it's, it goes right into delete file and you will not increase your chances of getting a face-to-face -face or in-person interview.